Here's how to create Excel 2016 pivot tables in 30 seconds. Let's say you have a data table with a name, a date, a quantity, and a state, and you want to turn it into a pivot table because you want to summarize the data and slice and dice different views of that data. All you do is you click somewhere inside of this data set, go to insert, pick pivot table. That chooses the range of data automatically, and we're going to create it in a new worksheet. Just hit OK. Now you're on your sheet two. Over here, you have your pivot table fields. We're going to take the date and put it in the column, the quantity and put it in the value, and the state and put it in the rows. There's a pivot table that shows quantity totals by state for each of the months of the data elements. And that's all you have to do to create a pivot table. Now for extra credit, let's see what else we can do with a pivot table. Let's say instead of using the state, we want to choose the name. And instead of the sum of the quantity, what if we change the value to the average of the quantities? And we don't really like that formatting. And let's say we don't like to include January in there either so we can filter it. What if we want to change the months with the rows and reverse the order? Or how about we add the state into the rows? That gives you a quick snapshot of Excel 2016 pivot tables. Trust me, this is only scratching the surface. And don't forget to check out my top 25 Excel tips and tricks video, along with the other Office 365 videos. Click on the links in the outro. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.